Hey, what's going on, Built on the Budget family? This is your boy, Built on the Budget, back for another video. 65 Chevy C10. Hey, got a confession I need to make with y'all guys, man. Uh, I've been kind of skimping a little bit on the videos. I done done a lot of work, and I hadn't really recorded none of it. I tried, but... Hey, man, it's been hot. It's hot out there today. And as you see, I mean, look look at me. I'm out here all dirty. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been out here since 7.30. And I had to come in the man cave and get me old drink of water. And I what better to do when you're drinking water than to watch some build on the budget videos. That's what I do. I like watching my own videos, man. Uh, first, say I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 990, and I'm inching up. I'm creeping up on the thousand. I just like to say, if you're watching this video, like, share, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Drop something down in the comment, and uh, I love to hear from y'all guys to tell y'all, you know, letting y'all tell me. What y'all think about what I'm doing. So look, I'm going to get on out here and show y'all some of the work that I done got done since my last update on the C10 project. I'm going to go ahead and start y'all out with a money shot. Now, when I got this truck, it was a long wheelbase. And I told y'all that I was going to uh, cut it down, make a sharp bed out of it. <clears throat> and uh, there you have it. Get over here where y'all can see it. She's officially a sharp wheelbase. Uh, now, what I'm doing is, I'm putting stuff on the truck for two or three reasons, and I'll explain to y'all what them reasons is in a minute, so don't let me forget why I'm putting this back together. But, uh, yeah, she's a short wheelbase, baby. I cut the frame, uh, the other day, and I started recording myself doing it. And man, I got so frustrated doing the job that I said, man, I, I can't, it is taking too much to produce a video at the same time. So I got both of the doors on it from the GMC that I bought. Uh, and I cut down the bedside to the long bed GMC that I bought and made it a sharp wheelbase. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm putting it all back together is that's what you do when you're building something. You got to put it together, make sure it fit before you make it purity. That's the biggest mistake a lot of people make. They want to go ahead and make one purity, but they ain't made it fit. And I got parts from all over the continental USA on these on this truck they from a lot of different places so i need to make sure that everything fit you know i bought the fenders off of uh marketplace uh the hood came off a different truck the cab was from one truck the doors is off of another truck the bed and then I cut the frame down and made a sharp wheelbase. So I was interested to see how it fit. Now, uh, there's a couple of things got to happen with this truck. This thing's sitting up like a four-wheel drive, man. You know I don't like that. So what I'm going to do about that? Well, let me show y'all something else I done that uh, I didn't record doing. I went ahead and put a C-notch in it because I got a five lug rear end 
that I'm going to flip. I'm going to put it on the top of the springs. So I went ahead and put a C-notch in it. Looks pretty good. So uh, another thing that I done that I didn't record, the last video I done on this truck, and uh, you might need to go back and watch it, the cab was sitting on blocks. Some of that stuff right there. Now I got the cab sitting back on the frame and I got the truck moved back around to this part of my shop. Uh, as y'all know, uh, my shop got a sunroof in it and when it's hot, the sun shines through it. When it rain, the rain come in it. So I'm out here, man, trying to do the best I can with whatever mother nature give me to work with. In the last few days, it has been a lot of heat. And uh, I'm not a spring chicken, so I have to pace myself. Let me show you something. Brought on baby girl look good sitting down there. I like that. But this uh, grill support, it came from one of my subscribers, uh, Ed. Y'all remember I did a video on him. He got the 63 Falcon and the 66 C10. Now, he gave me that grill support to go in there. Uh, and uh, Ray Ray, which I did the video of his 73 the other day, uh, he gave me a five lug rear end to put in it out of a, about a 78 C10. And so, uh, Ray Ray, I appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, Ray Ray, I know you're listening. And, and, and don't y'all take me wrong when y'all hear me tell Ray Ray this. I'm like Deion Sanders. I'm coming. So get ready. Don't be sleeping down there in St. Paul. Don't make me drive up on you down here with this C-10 before you drive up here on me. But I'm after you. I got you in my crosshairs, and uh, you can't go to sleep at night. You got to stay out there at night working, trying to get yourself together so you'll be able to ride with this C-10. 301 Customs. What's up, my man? Appreciate you. Enjoyed the time we spent the other day. Looking forward, man, getting down there. Giving you a hand on that 66. Yeah, 301 Custom down there in uh, St. Paul's. Got a nice 66 down there. Uh, LS swap car. Uh, doing a lot of good work to it, man. I'm going to get down there one day and I'll see if I can't get him a, a little hand on it. But, yeah, uh, those are a few things that I done done that I didn't record. Uh... I cut the bed size down, made short beds out of them. I still got to do, you know, I got to finish welding them. Um, but I can make it work now. I know I can do it. I got another one that I, the other side, I done halfway done it. But, uh, I mean, these doors ain't lined up, but, uh, I mean, that ain't, that ain't too bad for what y'all seen me haul in here a few weeks ago. Now, to some of the non-believers that were kind of hard on me when I bought it in the house, do you see the vision now? Can you see where I'm headed? Because, see, what's ugly on this truck now? I got laying in the truck to fix it. I got all of the, the floor pans and the rockers and the cab corners and everything. Uh, I'm just waiting on, on my brand new cab mounts before I try to put all of that stuff in. But once them cab mounts get here, it's on and popping. Now, another reason why I put this truck, starting to put this truck together, 
maybe you, uh, let me get over here to the shade and I, I want y'all to see me when I say this because it's going to help somebody. Okay. Why I'm putting this truck back together? The truck is a lot of work. A lot of frustration. Some days it's a headache. Most of the days it's been hot. And I got a lot of other things to do than to work on this truck. So me putting this truck back together is forcing the truck to motivate me to keep going forward. It's a hard job, man. Y'all guys don't understand that whenever you is starting on a project and it's all apart and it's costing a lot of money and it's taking a lot of time, it's easy for you to get frustrated and your project set. I sold a lot of cars in the past because I got tired of them. I got frustrated with them. They did, and they were running, but they didn't motivate me no more. And my wife put an end to that. She said, <laughs> she said, you done sold the last one out of this yard. That's old school. But uh, if you got a project, man, and it's sitting in your building, and, and you ain't touched it in a while, and you frustrated with it, start putting it together, man. Get some motivation behind it. Let it tell you to come out here and work on it. I mean, now I'm so excited about what I'm seeing that, hey, I'm looking forward, man, to, to getting back out here. Matter of fact, uh, Friday night, I couldn't even sleep hardly because I was waiting to get up Saturday morning. That's why I was out here by 7.30, man, and I done put in a good day's work. And the only reason why I stopped now is because I don't have any more cutoff wheels. I'm out. Built on the budget is out of cutoff wheels. And so I don't want to go uptown to buy no more because I'm tired. But uh, tell me now, what y'all think? Is it coming along pretty good? I mean, there go my inner fenders. That's going to complete the front. Uh, my other bedside is over there. I still got it, some extra pieces. And uh, once I flip that rear end and put that five lug on there, I already got the five lug front to go on it with power stern. You know, so I got a lot to motivate me. It's just that uh, the truck got to call my name. And with me putting it together where I can look at it, I can sit on my back porch and look down the hill at it and see it, uh, that's, that's motivating me. I'm hoping that the next time, the next video that I do is going to have that aluminum grill. Uh, it's one down at the yard. I just got to go in there and cut a couple of bolts on it. But uh, hopefully I have that in there. And that's going to motivate me even more. And, uh, you know, but it's a short wheelbase. Officially, it's a short wheelbase. Now, here's the long bed. Uh, I done cut the back half down. And I done started putting it back together. But I got to do a little dolly in right in here i'm gonna grind it down and then i got to dolly it a little bit because once you heat up two panels like that they tend to want to dip in and you got to pull them out and then uh it got bondo in it it got bondo let me see if i can't get a you see where i got it outlined at The bondo is starting at the top of this seam, coming down here. So, 
I'm going to dig that bondo out, and I'm going to see what's going on up under it. But uh, it's uh, it's coming along pretty good. Got a little rust right there. I'm going to have to patch that up. And I don't know. I don't know what's up in here until I go to cutting on it. But uh, I'm going to tell you. If uh, if you price these bed size, even the ones people have, it might make you want to cut the ones you got if they decent. I'm built on a budget. I'm working with what I got. This is what I had. And uh, this is my little setup here. My little Sentry MIG welder. I told you, man, it ain't that I got a lot of tools. I just got these right here. So, hey, uh, I got a lot of work left to do, man. And I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done, man. I ain't in no real big hurry. To finish this truck. I got stuff to drive. Uh, I just do it because I love it, man. I wanted to do a 65, that body style C10. I got it. I started from the very bottom, as y'all seen. I started with a, a, a rusted cab with a long wheelbase frame that was rusted. I got rid of that frame. Got, uh, got another frame, a whole truck. It was a long bed, but uh, I'm making that work. Uh, that old cab to come off that GMC. Uh, I still got to take the sternum wheel. I wasn't going to take it out because I didn't really want it, but I'm going to take it out anyway, and I'm going to stick it back in mine so I can move it around in the yard with it. And then here that old frame. And the scrap man is coming to get it sometime next week. He already got the big old load of stuff that I had. All of the old fenders and hood and old door pieces. He got all of that. So, uh, but yeah, that's what we got. Uh, like I said, I, I done shortchanged y'all a little bit. But y'all got to give me a break on this one because it's been real hot. Built on the budget. The compound down at the main cave. Boo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, that's going to do it for today. Maybe the next video, I had that other bed cut and put back on together. I had the other uh, C-notch in the back. I might even have the re-end put in it. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Uh, but uh, I'm working on it, and I'm getting it done. So, uh, like I said, Ray Ray. Get, 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 get ready. Because I'm coming. 301 Customs. Help your boy out. Because he needs some help. Look, to the next video, this is your boy built on the budget. Saying I thank all of y'all. Thank y'all for running my numbers up. On the road to 1,000. 5, 10 away. And I appreciate all of you. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. And I appreciate all of the thumbs up to the next video. Built on the budget saying.